Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today to remember our friend, oh, shit. our colleague. He made us laugh. He made us cry. But now he's gone. And this is what our podcast is now. Are you talking about the guy from the terrorist attack yesterday? Yes. <laughs> R.I.P. I'm talking about Nick. Oh, is Nick dead? He did the it's terrorist spooky. attack yesterday. It's a spooky <laughs> episode. Halloween's over. Yeah, of and Christmas podcast. has just started, right, guys? Hey, hey, Halloween was yesterday. Just when's yeah. Hanukkah? Is that one? Of, is it one of those sneaky early Hanukkahs this year? I don't know what it is. Last year it was on the same day as Christmas, which I thought oh. was <laughs> disrespectful. I thought it was disrespectful. How too. are you going to mock? That's like OJ's birthday being on Nicole Brown Simpson's birthday. I, I believe you know they had I mean? the same birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like OJ throwing a big party when it was Nicole Nicole's birthday. Like the first year after she died. Exactly, yes. yes. Like having a birthday exactly. party. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> having a celebration. For Ron Goldman. <laughs> yeah. uh, how dare the fucking Jews. I was watching that Chris Rock bit the other day. Which one? About OJ. And he's like, if some guy was riding around in my car... <laughs> with my yeah, wife yeah. <laughs> That was a uh, You couldn't do that joke Chris Rock does have some problem Like some bits that like Are funny as shit But would be He would be yeah. Definitely f- Like today He would get You know Tumblered big time Oh yeah Well now it's moved on from speech And it's like Inappropriate touching Which I feel like Should have happened before Right, before right. We kind of <laughs> skipped like, I, like all this Daniel Tosh bullshit That happened And it's like And another thing Harvey Weinstein Raped 40 people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like okay Well maybe Start I wouldn't there. have had To have a culture war For the last four years yeah. If you started with The rapists and then went after people. I mean, I still wouldn't jokes. be on board with going after it fucking It seems like the priorities jokes. are a little... But you might have been t- tuckered out after going after the rapists. You know? Listen. I wouldn't have defended the rapists. No, 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 no. I mean, they, the culture, like the SJWs, oh, yeah, maybe they maybe. would have been a little tuckered out and maybe left us, let us do jokes. Yeah. So, um, in case you guys haven't been paying attention or reading the my newsletter that I send out, I will be uh, leaving the show permanently. <laughs> Um, to be replaced by Jamie Kilstein. Yeah. <laughs> who's offered me a buyout, actually. He's me, really? He spent me $50,000. I don't really think you should agree to this, Nick. I, yeah, man. I don't know if this is a good Can idea. Can we veto? No. Please? You're going to make us hang out with that guy? I'm not going to make you do shit. You're free to sell your positions to whoever you want. All right, I'm going to sell it to Lindy West. God right. damn it, I was going to say that. <laughs> Who Lindy's, do you not, Lindy's not bad now. It's going to be funny, because I called the Kilstein thing, right? I, I think, months ago. Uh-huh. He Lindy's going to have some kind of medical issue, right? And then she's going to get fucking lap band surgery and lose like 300 oh, shit. pounds. shit. And she's going to be And high. then she's uh-huh. going to turn her, her very saggy back on the fat community. <laughs> 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 That's the next one. Should I get lap band? How, are you fat enough? Don't you have to be a certain amount? I think of I'm plenty fat. No, nah, if you went to the doctor, they'd be like, yeah, but you're fucking bald and your teeth are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> really? Is that how that works? Yeah. If you're not going to be sexy, they don't yeah. let you get lap band <laughs> surgery? The doctor's <laughs> like, you will never be attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, doc, don't I have a, like, a thing going for me, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, what would you think? You, you could say? get plugs. You could get porcelain yeah, exactly. veneers, dude. I'm get I'm I'm gonna get a bag and fix my teeth, Cardi B style, soon, dude. Oh yeah, I'm that's not like, I mean, that's like a medical necessity. This isn't like a cosmetic thing. You have like no, a, it's cosmetic. This is a, this is a this is a um. Is it alive or is it dead? No, it's your a tooth fucking, is rotting out of your fucking. No, head. you motherfuckers! It's a root canal. It's just I got it done by some guy for thirty dollars in <laughs> in Golden Ring Mall, the Golden Ring Mall. I don't shared. know what it is. it's a parking lot across from a shitty mall. Yeah. Uh, there's some dentist my mom knows that just does. If you go there and you wait all day, he'll fit you in between like paying customers, mm-hmm. and you just get like the the shitty in between. Like I was there for eight hours. And he fixed thirty dollars barely covers like the toothpaste to the. I know, but it, that's what that's what he paid. That's what he what it cost. It was wild. Damn. So it looks like shit, but it was either that or the guy on the Upper West Side I went to quoted me eight thousand dollars to get a total fucking implant. And this well, guy, there's a world in between like 
a dentist that operates out of like an old Renaissance, <laughs> and the, the dentist of the Upper West Side. I know, but those you were the only two I dental, went to. You go to dental school. You know, I'm scared for students, dude. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. No, you if just there's any dentist out there, them. holler at your boy. You think so? Yeah, they're millennials. You're, you're doing great. <laughs> you need to give them a <laughs> participation trophy. Oh, shit. They're okay. not millennials anymore. Millennials aren't in college anymore. Yeah, we're old. What now. are they? Generation Z? Think about those kids we hired to shoot that stupid video. They're, they're not millennials? I mean, they're they're millennials, but at the low end. Barely. Like, look at the fucking... I don't have anything in common with them. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I, I mean, they they're speak cool. a different language. Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. yeah, they were Chinese. We hired a bunch of Chinese. They kept eating people. fish heads out of the garbage. Yeah. Classic millennial. Classic <laughs> Chinese millennial. <laughs> JP told me a fucking hilarious story about being in an open mic and there was some ex NYPD guy who oh, went up. Yes. <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, I was uh I was a 9-11 first responder, and he thought he would get applause, but it's an open mic, so no one's even paying attention. <laughs> and immediately he goes, you fucking millenniums are a bunch of cell phone <laughs> computer douchebags. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah, dude. I like working with JP. Uh, How much? Uh, yeah, JP. Love that guy. Rocks. We should get him back on the pod sometime. That tall piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Slap him around a little bit. He's set a- him back to earth. He's a walking stick, that he guy. He is a walking stick. He's a big <laughs> he's old a, boy. He's a walking lick. This coffee tastes like shit. Would you make it? Would you brew it yourself? I mean, it's a Keurig. Uh, I thought you had a Keurig? I, I have a single you? cup Keurig that I have next to my bed. <laughs> so he can have coffee <laughs> immediately when he wakes up. Right. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get an espresso instead, dude? Them shits are cool. This, those are expensive. Really? How much did it cost? I don't know. Hundreds of dollars. Nespresso? You just bought a fucking uh, Cruising USA console, basically, to have in your house to yeah. play. I mean, that's like a game. It's not an Coffee, addiction dude. first thing in the morning. I mean, it's a stupid toy that I like. get to feel dumb about spending the yeah. money on. <laughs> but don't you drink that espresso and feel good every nah, morning? I already did that with the Vitamix. I, I do one dumb purchase in each category. Uh, for life, or when does it roll over again? I don't know. When the podcast fails, I don't have money anymore. No, wh- but every year, every year, wouldn't it happen every year? Don't you get a new dumb? Yeah, you need to write it off on your taxes. It's uh, the fiscal year. Yeah, every fiscal year, you get a new kitchen thing or a new. Nah, thing. I'm just gonna have to fly a lot. You can you can really work up the or, or rack up the write offs by just uh, uh, not knowing how to book shit through Expedia <laughs> and having them <laughs> select the next month for your return trip. Oh no. That happens to me literally every time I use fucking Expedia. Why, bro? They, well, they have like their, like their pick your first date, and then it's like the 18th, and then it's like, and your return trip. And you're like, okay, the 18th to the 21st. But you have to like make sure that you go and s- hit back yeah. on the second calendar because it's just going to assume you're spending a month out of town. Mm, that's never happened to me once. It happens to me literally every single fucking time <laughs> I use Expedia's <laughs> website. I use Google Flights pretty good. Yeah, always Southwest is the cheapest one. You track it, you see whatever, and every time I just fly JetBlue exclusively. Southwest doesn't go to South Africa though. So oh shit! Look at this. I just phone. yeah, I just booked big time to see with Africa. Yeah, JetBlue is the best goddamn airline. You they like the blue snacks? Terra chips? Well, first of all, they let you just fucking take shit out of like the, that. You can go into the fucking stewardess area and just take shit Whoa. out of the fucking cupboard. That makes sense to me. Really? Yeah. yeah. After they walk it's through and they're style? like, "Do you want a drink, sir? Do you want a snack?" They're like. Our concessions area is now open, and you can just fucking walk, like go into those like astronaut cabinets and fucking pull out snacks. And I just stood next to the bathroom, just eating bag after bag of chips. <laughs> no one said a fucking word to me. Yo, were you the only guy abusing that shit? Of course. And first of all, it's not abusing. Like you pay a premium for that service. I suppose. I would expect more fat people to be doing it, but they're ashamed. Their That's first the class is insane, too. Jet Blue first class? They have class? first class? Yeah. I thought it was a budget carrier. It was like all No, economy. it's spirit. No, uh, their first class is like... Southwest, too. It's one seat per row that reclines all oh. the way back. Oh. Do they have the little like mesh screen? Have you ever seen those? They, sometimes they have like a, like a mosquito net looking oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you just go right the fuck to sleep. They don't have one of those, but I mean, it is like, it's like a But deep, a full seat. Well, yeah, a full seat that goes, oh, you lays completely flat. Oh, Because there's, there's, there's two people and then one person, so it's staggered, so. Beautiful. Yeah, and then also, here's a hot tip. If you're flying JetBlue, or any airline, really, never select your seats online. 
go to the, do that. Go to the you guy. Get upgraded. Yeah, you just fucking don't select a seat, wait until everyone boards, and then you say, oh, can I get a, a boarding pass? Because what happens is nobody buys those like Economy Plus seats because they're a fucking scam. And at the end, they just have them left over. Yeah, so, so you ask the guy at the desk. Yeah, I mean, if you get if you select a regular seat, you're completely fucking yourself over. I mean, if you want to make sure you get a nice seat, then uh-huh. maybe spend the money. But like, if you're not worried about that shit anyways, just never do seat selection. Yeah, unless you have like you know some dumb bitch wife that you're traveling yeah. with, yeah, some fucking shit, fucking bitch. Which I don't do because I'm always on business trips. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having sex with boy prostitutes. And also, yeah. we all made a promise to each other that we would never get married ever, and we would That's be right. together forever. That's right. The three of us. The f- the I first. remember that promise. The, whoever gets married, with the other two kill him. And then the other two get married. And then the <laughs> yeah, other two yeah. have to get married. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> so we're probably going to end up killing you, Adam, because you're a fucking emotional bitch. For sure. I'm going to get married on, by accident. And we're going to... I got a free tracksuit today. I'm very jealous. The same one I have. Yeah. It's a $150 tracksuit. I got I it. Know. I got it 100% for free. The Adidas Beckenbauer. I'm finally sponsored, folks. The moment we've <laughs> all been waiting for is for me to not only get paid way too much to do the podcast, but also to get things I like for free. <laughs> we did it. I want to get free shit, dude. Also, somebody messaged me. I guess a Robusto does indicate a size of cigar. It does? Yeah. Oh. They were telling me, too, I should... I should get into high end watches, but uh, that's that's I not watches, time pieces. Yeah, fuck that shit. Anybody Sounds that's like a watch, gay. yeah, watch heads are fucking stupid. I want to get a nice. If you watch. got too much money, you got to spend man. your money on dumb shit, electronics, rich guy shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You got to you got to do whatever you can to make people who don't have the money not necessarily even really jealous of the money. Exactly. Mm-hmm. In you my know? case, I just buy sneakers. My mom wouldn't let me get when I was a little kid. Yeah. You know, I got yeah. a lot of airs. I got the up tempos in a couple different colors. Mm-hmm. I just bought some weird. Uh, Adam, turn the air conditioner. Yeah, on. I can't hear anything. I bought some suck on suck on these Sakonis. Sakonis, you know, suck on. There these. used to be this wigger in eighth whoa, grade that whoa. used to call his Sakonis conies. I remember. And wow, also, Adam using the N word on the podcast. No, I can't believe I you the said. W. No. I can't believe you said that about that black guy you went no, to school he with. He was the definitely N-word. white. <laughs> Jesus, I, mean, I dude. saw you. you he called them conies. You were saying the N word, but you <laughs> you stuttered because there was a bit of cum in your mouth. Um, oh yeah, that is true. I see. Yeah, yeah, he had. He, had, he was trying to. He's doing a thing where he makes a, a little bowl with his tongue and he holds cum in it all mm. day. And then he was trying to say the N word. It's a diet thing. <laughs> is it? You get the calories. But you, you get don't two have tablespoons have of cum the whole day. Yeah, but y- it's really hard to keep it like in a pool in your. Does it strengthen tongue. your tongue for eating guys' asses later? Um, no, it doesn't necessarily strengthen it. It actually exhausts my oh. tongue. Yeah, um, I can't really talk by the end of the day. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we should have done this podcast later then, huh? <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> Well, I'm just, guys, I got to be honest with you. I'm just focused on Major League Baseball right now. The I'm Yodgers? half here for, yeah, Game 7. It, we're, it's probably going to start by the time we're done with the podcast. Today. Yeah, everyone will know what have, what's happened. It'll be so funny. Everyone will know tomorrow. Lose. I will cry tonight <laughs> from sports. Really? For sure. Has a sport Actually, if they lose, I won't cry. If they win, I'll probably cry. I mean, this is like literally what I've been waiting for. Has a sporting event life. ever affected you emotionally, Nick? Uh, I don't think anything's <laughs> affected <laughs> me. When's the last time you cried? I think last we mentioned time I cried. I, I can't remember even. Yeah. It hasn't been for like 10 years. Um, No. I, I yeah, I No, yeah. I, I definitely remember being drunk and then. No, you know what? I told this story. I got drunk and watched Star Trek and cried at the <laughs> yeah. opening scene. Yep, I definitely cried it up when he sacrifices his family. <laughs> yes. I cried at something. Oh, Kirk's some, dad. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I cried at some baby content recently. A ba- Somebody with like his like daughter. An Instagram. It was so fucking cute. I don't remember what it was. You cried at a happy thing. I was pretty. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I was crying thinking about like if I had a daughter. You know, I almost started crying. Earlier today, when I was watching Yasiel Puig's Instagram <laughs> live story, he's so. Joyous. He's such a happy, beautiful spirit. Happy to be out of Cuba or whatever. Incredible. His Instagram was my favorite Instagram right after he defected from Cuba because he was like learning American culture. 
So he would like just take pictures like with stuffed animals and be like, yeah, oh, like oh yeah, minions. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, he'd like take pic like take pictures with like uh, animals at the zoo and stuff. He was I sort of like learning American culture through technology. It was like really. I love the shit immigrants love about America. Like eldest is elder, or like they want. Like my my cousin Leonida wanted peanut butter. All he wanted was Jif. They ain't got it there, dude. Yeah, my so cousins from abroad always ask for cinnamon trident. Really? Yeah. Interesting. They like big red? No, they like cinnamon trident. Trident. What about Eldis's, uh, Eldis's cousin wants Rogaine from Alba to Albania. <laughs> and Eldis <laughs> won't send it to him because the shipping's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like something they would want or need in Albania. Yeah. <laughs> I need medicine to offset... <laughs> reactor juice spill on <laughs> I I was exposed to reactor juice. <laughs> Please, my hair is fucked up. My hair is so fucked up. I need juice. Apparently in Albania they had like these like mountain tribes where you were allowed to be trans. Like you could be a woman that lived as a man. I mean, that's like that's not unique. That that the, the, the idea that, that there's a gender Asia, binary is India, something. yeah, yeah. I mean, like lots of cultures have that. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. It was there's people cool. that live in the woods and like stick their dicks in piles of fire ants. They always have a third gender that's like guy that's too much of a pussy to fuck the fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets to like hang out with the children, I guess. And, like, <laughs> pretend he has breasts. <laughs> Sweep. Yeah. Uh, do those guys get fucked? Um, those well, pig- certainly not by the fire ants. Yep. That's yep. for the real men. That's the good pussy. That's fire you, ant you, pussy. you let a bunch of bullet ants bite your testicles, mm. and then you sit on top of a totem pole for six and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> they, it's crazy to think, but there are still tribes like deep Amazon, deep Congo that have never had any contact with the outside world. Is that real? Yeah. There's, there's still like tribes that have never had sex, and it's you guys. Yeah. What? It's true. A tribe called Never Had Sex. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, how could it be a tribe? Then you wouldn't be able to procreate. That's my uh, my rap group, a tribe called, <laughs> Never, had called sex. Never Had Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Your real work. Uh, m- mine is uh, uh, Ju Tang. Ju. Ju Tang. Ju Tang. Poon Tang Clan. Poon Tang Clan. That's, there we that's go. good. Because I get pussy as opposed to what you sure you're it's saying. not Peanut Eminem? No, <laughs> that's not your rap name. <laughs> no, it would be pretzel. That's my favorite one. You guys ever fuck with pretzel M and M's? They're, they're del- no, they're delicious, dude. Good. They're bad. All what? The, all, anything that came after peanuts? Kind no, of bullshit. the peanut butter ones are good. Peanut Reese's M&Ms Pieces already incredible. filled that void. I don't need you. To they're, fuck better. Around. they're better. They're better. M and M coming around pretending like they invented Reese's Pieces. They're fatter. The shell like, is Check fatter. this out. M and M candy flavor, and then it's just Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> that I wouldn't that. fuck with. You know what was pretty cool? We were doing blow on Halloween like three years ago, and we went to that party that had those like half dollar sized M and M's. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I that ate sounds... like nineteen. Of that was the night that, that Tommy told us he slept <laughs> the, the trans. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, that was also the night that Do you have that, a blow that, guy. <laughs> that guy fucking uh, told that story about his friend that. You know, we're talking about those Hasidic hats, those stupid oh, hats. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you got... And this guy's Grand like, Larson. yeah, my boy uh, my boy got one of those, and, like, uh, he, they caught him, and he went to... He, he got they charged with, like, grand larceny or something. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they like, cost, like, $5,000. What do you mean he got one of those? And he was like, yeah, he was, like, riding his bike down the street, and he fucking, like, just plucked it off one of those guys' heads. <laughs> Which <laughs> that's a the idea of a Hasidic guy like running down the street so after good. his stupid hat? <laughs> so good. Because if anyone deserves it, it's them. If they should be hate crimed, but like yeah, light hate crimes, sure, like, that. like no, they're like pranks, goofy yeah. ones. They're bad people like, and they don't have a sense of humor. Oh, they're horrible drivers. And they too. exploit. Don't the, even get me started. They exploit the system. The you know. Uh, Welfare uh, and shit. Yeah, but then to like personally enrich themselves and then exploit their, yeah. you know, the communities they live in. Oh, for what sure. about what about a fucking? We do one of those like uh, claw games, but it's a bunch of those guys with their with their hats. Their hats. And we the steal claw. all their hats. No, they have to be in. It's a big 
It's a big one of those claw games, mm. uh-huh. and they're all in there. And How about we, have to we pluck it from their heads? We reroute the G train to a special camp where they have to go into. <laughs> they look like showers, but there's actually gas that comes out of the ceiling. Whoa! Like fun laughing gas. Yeah. Okay, and they all so that's so we teach them about laughter since they don't have mm-hmm. a sense of humor. We put them in that camp, and they all yeah, and we show them a uh, like. The Ringer by Johnny Knoxville, the best comedy ever. The made. one where he pretends he's <laughs> retarded. <laughs> he's retarded, and we put laughing gas, and then we cure them of their humorlessness. Oh, yeah. you know it's a great movie, Tropic Thunder. I was just talking about that today. It's a really good movie. It's a fantastic movie. Harvey, they pulled off the blackface. It feels a little weird when he's that he's doing blackface. I think it's cool. You think? I so? thought it was funny. Do you guys watch any Halloween movies? No. Don't talk about whatever Criterion shit you're gonna mention. <laughs> I watched a scary movie today. Yeah, what's that? The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Oh, I just yeah. got Movie Pass, so I can like I've been going I to I, I I've been going to the too. movies alone during the day. It's really nice. I rewatched Jacob's Ladder, well half of it last night. What was that? Jacob's Ladder. It's like one of my favorite horror movies. I've never seen it. It's like Tim Robbins as a. Uh, a Viet- transvestite from Vietnam Transylvania. vet who has like flashbacks or whatever. Oh, shit. And uh-huh. He's like just, he's re- it just turns out he's in hell. Whoa. Oh, shit. Which is kind of, it sounds like trite and stupid, but it creates like a really depressing mood that stays with you for like weeks on end. Damn. You just feel like shit after watching it. Damn. That's sort of how I felt after I saw this movie today. What? It's really stressful. <laughs> Yeah, it's that Greek guy that made Dog yeah, yeah, Teeth. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen any of his movies. And I feel like a bad patriot. He's really good. What's the first like? Uh, what was your first Halloween costume you remember? That your Dick Tracy. Put you in? Dick Tracy. Yeah, I yeah. like it. They got me like a yellow duster. Did you want to be Dick a yellow Tracy? hat? Or, yeah, I thought oh, Dick Tracy did. was sick. I love Dick yeah. Tracy because of the word Dick. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, I I, I don't know if I thought I got it, but yeah, I, I did love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I was like five. Yeah, I was like four. My parents made me a clown. It was a little fucking cute birthday clown. Oh, it was that's good. cute. I look kind of like John Wayne Gacy, actually. It's kind of the same yeah. the same paint without realizing uh-huh. it. But it was cute. I was like three. John Wayne Spacey, dude. Uh-oh. Mm. Same type of shit. John Wayne Kevin Spacey. What about you, Nick? I think just a skeleton. Mm. Standard. Yeah. Did you go skeleton every year? Every single year. <laughs> 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 what was the first one that you really fucking knocked out of the park that you were like, I'm proud of this shit? Um, um, the worst, I think the first like Halloween costume I wanted to be was probably Sonic when I was like hell five. Hell yes. And my mom sewed a Sonic costume. Oh shit, that she rules. Work Did it look that. good? Yeah. I mean, nice. yeah, it was pretty good. Fuck I mean, it, yeah. I, well, it was like... Blue a blue sweatsuit with yeah, yeah, yeah. fins like attached. That's to the tight top. though. But yeah, no, it was pretty good. Were you the bell of the ball? No, no. I, the, I don't remember there being a ball. <laughs> you didn't go to a Halloween ball, dude. Yeah, no, no. It's you and it's a bunch of uh, older Debutons. men. Yeah, and they and it's a bunch of little kids and, and whoever has the best uh, costume. I feel like Sonic in this tracksuit. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a I'm very Sonic f- themed tracksuit. You can suit. zoom around. Yeah. Eating some chili dogs. Do you know who's a huge Sonic fan? You know what fan? that was that was code for? It was gay code for when you pull she your dick dicks. out of a man's ass and then <laughs> and it's covered and in diarrhea. Suck. Yeah. <laughs> That's a part of the homosexual agenda that was snuck into the Sonic the Hedgehog Whoa. series. And the gold rings? Cock rings. Yeah. You know that You know uh, why Miles has two tails? Why? Because it's a represents he got fucked in his ass twice. twice. <laughs> okay. So he's still new to the life. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his name, his full name is uh, Miles. Of then, cock? Well, T. It was Miles Prower, right? But mm-hmm. then the T, which a lot of people think stands for tails. That's why they call him that. But it actually stands for trans. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. Yeah, that's Sonic's friend, Trans. <laughs> trans Powers. <laughs> what about that red one? Who was he? What was that Knuckles? guy? Knuckles. Knuckles. Yeah. Oh. He uh-huh. had a bad attitude. Whole yeah. fist? That's put his whole knuckle in your ass. Yeah, I really can't extrapolate more <laughs> weird shit out of Sonic. It was already pretty bizarre to begin with. You Dr. know Michael Robotic? Jackson was a huge Sonic fan? Really? Yeah, and he wrote the closing credits. To Sonic. Hmm. I want to be Sonic. <laughs> the best there ever was. My name is Sonic. Everyone remembers the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone remembers the Sonic song. Yeah. 
Well, it didn't come Being out until Sonic, like a couple years ago. If you're a cartoon, you can't molest children. Being Sonic. My Remember crimes will Jackie be Chan forgiven. Adventures? Jackie Chan. Oh, and, hell yeah. yeah. They, they approached Jackie Chan. They're like, come up with a cartoon. He's like, oh, what if it's just me? Yeah. And they're like, all right, fine. And he's got a fat friend who's giant. And he's got an old... His dad or something. And then, I don't remember uh, the show girl. at all. I just remember it existed. It was a good-ass show, Yeah, man. it was Jackie Chan. He has like a, a niece that he helps a out. A precocious American niece with yeah. no s- Chinese speech impediment. Oh. Yeah. Sort of like the niece in Rumble in the Bronx. That's where, Adam, you developed your crush on Asian girls is from this young Chinese girl in Jackie Chan Adventures. Um... Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. I think wait, what, so. wait. What? What? But about your? What about your? I want to hear about your Halloween costume that you were like. Cause Sonic. I'm, I I was asked to buy like Power Rangers stuff and like. I was Hercules one year. That was pretty good. The Kevin Sorbo one. My parents would just put me in like scarves of my mom's and be like, <laughs> "You're a fucking pirate." <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah. It was, that was your parents' choice to go into your mom's room. Yeah, yeah. My, oh, parents, my parents would always force yeah. me to put I on my mom's I went as a pirate, heels. and then my dad... It's like the middle of May, and his dad's like, <laughs> What the fuck is this? He's like, I'm playing Halloween. <laughs> it's Halloween, Dad. I'm, 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 I'm pretending it's Halloween so I can get candy. And he's like, Good save. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the TV remote in your ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the remote's laws. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck I was the Pillsbury Doughboy Oh that's cute It was part of my way of like trying to Deal own with the being fat. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 As a little kid I had I was trying to like You know overcome it so I don't I remember doing a costume after fourth grade Yeah I think I, I, think I fourth quit grade, costumes fourth, pretty Yeah young. fourth grade was like I think or And then for like the last three years I did Halloween It was always like just black hoodie and then like a scream mask. Right, right, yeah. right. The classic like too old to do it, but you still want candy type of shit. I think yeah. last year I did it with sixth grade. I had khakis, black t-shirt, red backwards, Yankees fitted. That was Fred, Fred Durst. Durst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember middle school. I remember when we were young as shit, eldest dressed up. There was, remember Your other rap name is Bred Durst. That's good. Oh. Is, he co- is he a rapper exactly? Yeah, of course he is. Fred? Really? Fred? Yes, of what, course. The, what the Fred's fuck an else MC? Would be? It's just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. Everybody Everything sucks. sucks. Everything, Everything is fucked. fucked. <laughs> and you don't know why, but you want to justify. I Ripping can't. someone's head no. off. <laughs> I can't. I can't qualify. No as a human rapper. contact. Are you serious, dude? And if you I interact, it. your life is on contract. <laughs> your best bet is to stay <laughs> away, <laughs> motherfucker. Why it's why just one of those all days. <laughs> it's all about the he said, she said why bullshit. Why do you cocksuckers know that? Dude, I that fucking, flowed like wine. I was wine. listening to that album like two months ago. <laughs> I'm fucking that shit got stuck in the CD player in my car. Ripping someone's head off. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, you don't remember the song you did with you Method Man? You better keep your distance, cause Not right really. now I'm dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool... Fred, let's do that again, but can you not do that, like, Adam Sandler voice thing? <laughs> All right, I'll try. Because right now, I'm dangerous. <laughs> Put a little stank on it, Freddy boy. Yeah. Yeah. There's a girl in the Break Stuff music video, some, like, tomboy-looking bitch. I remember her. her. shirt up and shakes her tits. I remember Whoa, her. really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and that she was doesn't cool. even have, like, particularly nice tits. It's nope. so just something about the way she does it and, like, the, the duration of the tits mm. being shaked that... You can't help but think, man, I should track down that woman. (laughs) I should find out who she is and confront her as being the woman from the Limp Bizkit Break Stuff music video. Everybody's in that music video. Who else is in it? I don't remember. The guy from Korn. Yeah, Jonathan Uh, Davis. Uh, who well, they Damn. were they went on tour together. They, yeah. they were like tour mates. On, what, what was, was that, that tour called? It was called something. The t- corn and limp biscuits. The nine eleven is never going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be nineteen ninety nine forever tour. Oh yeah, were they in Woodstock ninety nine? Yeah, Woodstock when it, everyone got raped. Dude. Whoa, seriously? In the mud. I remember yeah. watching that on TV. I was at my cousin's house. She had just given birth. She was a former stripper. Nice. And uh, is she hot? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Why not? Tell her I said what's up. We were watching Woodstock ninety nine on TV. <laughs> Woo! 
Woodstock, nothing like the spirit of Woodstock. Hendrix. Yeah. Limp Bizkit was basically Hendrix, the new Hendrix. Yeah. You know what I mean? I felt like it was all a bunch of bullshit bands, too. Who else was at Woodstock 99? It was like Vans Warped Tour shit. Yeah, yeah. Before Woodstock Warped 99, Tour, yeah. Was that Jamiroquai was there, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like there's reason, always like that? a black, like, yeah, there's like a black band that's like, I'm gonna I'm cool. gonna become an R B act named uh Turdice. <laughs> and it's T U R D I C E with an accent. Mm. Uh the Family Values Tour. That was yes. the name of the tour. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah and Ice Cube. Get it? It's the Ice Cube. Incubus yeah. was on. We don't it. embrace family values. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was hats. Ice Cube right before he like made the like turn to just be like a, a dad in movies to be a, one of america's favorite comedic yeah, actors yeah, yeah he was like the cool black guy that was giving them all credibility on that tour basically he had to say i'm gonna pull this car over yeah if you kids don't damn it we ain't going on vacation if you can't settle down <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't settle down down there we ain't going on vacation <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh no <laughs> Somebody left Ice Cube's brain out in the sun. <laughs> uh, Ice Cube's son now gets to be a damn actor. Yeah, him? Ice Cube Jr. Him out there. Yeah, he Ice played Cube. Ice Cube in the in the movie. I can't yeah, wait. what's his name? A uh, a smaller Ice Cube. Nice. An Ice Cube Pud- that was made in a melting. smaller tray. Yeah. Puddle boy. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, <laughs> A say hey, crushed ice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, crushed. Yeah, uh, thank yeah. You. And Not uh, what, cubed. a piece of hail from a hailstorm, maybe. Good. That might be big or say, small. Uh, yeah, from a small, a small storm. Yeah, yeah, more like a little sleet. Sleet. I'd say if you want a good deal on a car, by the way, go down to Texas, get a hailstorm damaged vehicle. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're fucking like completely fucked up. But the engine's good. The car's fine. It's just got some kind of weird cosmetic damage. Should we go get... Remember we talked about getting a van like a year ago? We I was talking, talking we about, talked about a, a boat all the time. Let's let's go down to Texas. Let's fucking drive... Let's take... Let's get plane tickets down there. We drive our van back. Huh? Who's and with do me? do shows? Yeah, we go to Austin. We do some shows. We Atlanta. barbecue. We could do Atlanta. Oh, this is a great idea, boys. We could do Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte. I had the worst show of my life. I almost fought a banker in really? Charlotte. Yeah, I was touring with Wham City. The Queen City. This place called Snug Harbor. And no one showed up except one insane woman that was like a fan of theirs. She Ed, fought you? No, there's just some fat guy that was there. And I was doing crowd work. And he was like, fuck you. <laughs> and he like, <laughs> he tried to fucking fight me. It was pretty tight. What's the worst you ever got heckled? That was pretty bad. I mean, that guy was like, yeah. You know, I've had people had to had to be like dragged out of shows. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's never happened to me. In DC, well, that this guy I mean, was he was just like, "Take your fucking shirt off, faggot!" <laughs> he kept shouting <laughs> at me. Yeah, yeah. No, at- I was in Philly and I was doing a bit about uh, how the Constitution is bullshit. Oh, I, I remember that bit. It's a good bit. And then fucking uh, some guy. Was like, wake up, son. And this is like the peak of like, you know, Obama's a Muslim. Right, right, right. So I was like, fuck you, you old piece of shit. <laughs> and then, because I like, I don't like comedy is just at this point, even then, yeah, comedy is just like a job. Yeah. So if you try to make the 20 minutes I have to work any harder, <laughs> it's not going to be like, hey, we're just having fun here, sir. Right. You know, or like, I'm not going to riff or whatever. Mm hmm. It was always like You'd be like Fuck you He's a yeah. you, you just go yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just go fucking yeah. For a hundred years ago They'd be hanging from whatever what Yeah you no say? They dragged him out of the show That's pretty good Yeah um, But I've You know I've had shit like that happen People scream and shit And They yeah. need to be removed I wanted to fight that guy dude I was mad But you didn't I and didn't that's, that's how the story ends I was at that they place They wouldn't let me dude I was trying Was that place <laughs> in Petworth I was. F- I punched the whole through through the damn wall trying to get to yeah. it. Pat, uh, we'll talk about it during the break. Oh, the break. We'll be back. Well, 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 everybody. It's uh, break time, and it's time to talk about underwear. We're talking about Mack Weldon Underwear, the greatest underwear company in the world. Uh, what separates Mack Weldon from the underwear companies of your? Well, it's simple. They believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Uh, I went online. I got some Mack Weldon underwear myself. It was very easy. Uh, Probably one of the easiest things I've done online. Uh, 
at least morally, you know, to get over uh, the guilt I, I usually feel. Uh, and Mack Weldon is going to be the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, uh, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants that you'll ever wear, folks. They have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are uh, antimicrobial, which uh, means they suck the, uh, the odor out of your body and, uh, and, and neutralize it. Um, and Mack Weldon, uh, they want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can go ahead and keep it, and they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So not only uh, do Mack Weldon underwear, uh, uh, socks, and shirts uh, look good, they uh, feel good. You know, you can wear them while working out, while podcasting, while sitting around the house, going to work. I know most of you don't have jobs. A lot of you are probably just in high school, so I guess get your parents to buy the fancy underwear for you, and uh, they can do that by going to MacWeldon.com and using uh, promo code CUMTOWN, C-U-M-T-O-W-N, to get 20% off. It'll make a great Hanukkah gift for all of our listeners out there. Uh, thanks, guys. MacWeldon.com. <clears throat> and we're back. It's all about sucking, fucking, pussy. Hell right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Ah, uh, limp biscuit. That's what that's what the ladies call my cock. I <laughs> <laughs> a limp old little biscuit. Oh, my I thought little... I thought it was about when you dunk a a, a cookie in tea during, while you're mm. having. Oh, that's what I thought. Yep. Okay. No, it's when you put your dick in a pussy soft. Oh, a that's limp, a limp biscuit. biscuit. That's I mean that's I assumed what, yeah that's what it was I've yeah. been soft dick, I've been soft dicking girls That's a really right. terrible feeling Oh my god <laughs> when you're just grabbing it at the base and pretending it's hard to, like, Yeah you're trying yeah, to squeeze yeah, yeah. it to like make yeah, yeah. it tight <laughs> <laughs> Like a fucking like deflated balloon Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. You're trying to get the oh. fucking stiffness at the top Oh that is a terrible Horrible. feeling That is a I'm not a man Absolutely Maybe just get potentially could, homosexual. If you could, you would just get two popsicle sticks and like splint it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would only ever really happen to me when I was like really fucking drunk. Yeah, I mean it happens when I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah. but I don't drink anymore, so that's like. So, so you go. You're, you got that rock hard. Oh yeah, cock. I've never had that problem as like a sober person, even when I'm like completely fucking yacked out. Really? Yeah. Interesting. No. I can get a boner on from that, but I can't. It takes come. me a while to come. Yeah, it takes yeah. me. I sometimes actually that's probably my experience with like uppers too. It's like I just it takes me. I can I could get hard, but I can't come. No, I remember I was taking Adderall f- in college for a while, like during finals, and I I the boners would be seventy five percenters. They wouldn't be nice, strong. Oh, maybe that's I'm strapping. Gonna, I'm gonna blame the Adderall. Beautiful. Then. Yeah, I think I've had some bad good. showings. I, I think it's not good for boners. I've put up some bad numbers recently. Yeah, it's a what is it? A va- vas vaso vaso vas vaso dilator. I mean, whatever really? the one that constricts your blood vessels. It fucks yeah, your yeah. cock up. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, How I think dare it fucks they prescribe me something bit. that would fuck my cock up? Yeah, I need all the help I can get, bro. Well, I just remember I'd jack off like at like sixty percent or seventy percent. I've been jacking off kind of not at my f- at my best potential. Either. I mean, I'm like I don't care. I don't have to show up nice for myself. What if I get? What if I get? Yeah, I mean that's the way of fucking. That's why you you don't get better at fucking. Why you 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 treat Jackie off as practice? Yeah, dude, you you Nick's got one of those. Practice how you play, dude. I treat everything in my life as as practice. (laughs) You know, that's what the Navy SEALs do. Uh, Oh, true. Use live ammunition on the fucking training. (laughs) If somebody dies, fuck him. He's a washout. He's too weak. You know, send his fucking his raped body back to his family. Because that's right, we're fucking him after he dies. (laughs) (laughs) We know. Let let. A mommy and daddy know that mm-hmm. your little Tommy didn't have what it takes yep. to be a U.S. Navy SEAL. At least part of him was a U.S. Navy SEAL. You I know love I mean? how many people the jizz in his ass. Yeah. <laughs> I he love left it. a little signature on his body. <laughs> he got a couple of medals, if you know what I mean. Uh, a lot, lot of people, two SEAL yeah. Team Six guys just murdered an Army Ranger in Africa. No, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard yeah. about that. That's some fucking. That's some like I'm action so, movie. I shit, I guess dude. it proves what we all kind of knew. Army Rangers sort of pussies. <laughs> I'm yeah. kind of torn because I'm. I belong to both of those groups. Yeah, they just hit me up whenever they need. You know, well, as an international mercenary that most. outranks all of them. Yeah, international mercenary. I used to be with the special 
operations group at the CIA. Mm -hmm. But then I got promoted past that to allowed to murder anyone in the world at any yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, Blackwater. No, past Blackwater. Plas pl pl past Blackwater. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, like, I'm Dr. I'm double Manhattan. O I'm 0069 <laughs> for England. 0069 like, for yep. England? I'm like James what Bond. What do you have to do for that? I'm basically James Bond. You have to just like do. Like, I have to fuck Halle races. Berry and I have to I'm fuck. Jeremy Piven. <laughs> From Entourage? Yeah. The oh, last he, he just got allegations. He did. Today. I mean, that's not surprising, is it? Well, by Lloyd. It was, it was Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> he spoke very rudely to me. <laughs> he raped the guy that played Lloyd. <laughs> 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 to get into character. <laughs> he raped his Lloyd gay assistant. Lloyd, get into character. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, boy. I remember my... Uh, my cousin and me one time, we my, uh, my uncle had like an office for a while and he had like an assistant mm -hmm. and, uh, the assistant was this guy, Alvin or something. I forget what his name was. And me and my cousin Simon. were like eight. Theodore. So we thought he was like just a cool guy, mm -hmm. you know, because he had like tattoos or whatever and he wore tight shirts. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. And then That's we went cool. on, on Alvin's computer one time. And like you know, like the fucking like search history comes up, and it's like guys sucking each other's dick. No. <laughs> and we found it, and we were like, "Ha ha! He's fucking gay!" And we're like showing my uncle, and he's like, "That's none of your business." Oh no, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, I Damn. told that story already about that guy Brian uh, in college. Who had yes, a, yes, yes, a yes. life size yeah, Leonidas, yeah. Leonidas poster, poster. in his room. Guy sucking dick, but he's not gay. Yeah, but he's yeah, not yeah. gay yeah. for the first time ever. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he's not, he's also not gay. It's two straight guys. He'll bounce right back to straight. heterosexuality after this. <laughs> I think I saw on Facebook he's married to a a woman <laughs> to yeah. a penis <laughs> to a severed penis he's just gonna have a great life where he just watches gay porn for 60 years nah he's definitely cheating on his wife with men for sure probably yeah my yeah, man's on the guy boys. gets off on not on being not gay uh, yeah yeah that's like a weird orientation that people just can't like process it's like some people don't need to come out of the closet they feel better Pretending like they're not gay and secretly that's, fucking men. That's their sexual orientation. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the It's orientation. called being on the down low. And, <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, I'll tell you what, it's being stolen from the black community by your friend. That's <laughs> right. Absolutely. He's not my friend, but yeah. Uh, He's Adam's, not your friend? Oh, he was after, a, after, no, he oh, was a guy that he had a secret agreement up. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> He's my friend's roommate. In college. You guys would just hang out like every like, month and a, a half. No, he was a total prick. He was like, he was a huge asshole. I mean, yeah, he was amazed. He just fucked yeah. at him and wouldn't call him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, also, like, my friend found, he, like, went on his computer to use you porn. And I'm like, that's weird that you're watching porn on your roommate's Remember computer. Remember the early days what of the you fuck? porn? I thought that's how he of, found like, it. Of homemade porn was like so cool when you porn first came out. Mm -hmm. I remember jacking off to like a video of like some th like extremely thick Turkish woman taken on like some now shitty cell phone video, and it's just her walking around. But she had such a huge ass mm. that I thought it was unreal. Yeah, homemade still is nice. It was like it was like two forty p, two forty i. Oh yeah, all shaky. Can't can't tell where the nipple and the fucking areola. Right, the difference, you know, yep. it's all one brown part. Yep, yep, yep. You know, the the dick looks like uh, I don't know. It's not well defined. You yeah. guys get it. What's <sighs> what's? Have we talked about Japanese porn before in this show? I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Where they blur sure. the cocks out. We got nothing else to talk. About. <laughs> I beat off to uh, a porn where it's like a cam girl fucking a delivery man, and I I fell for it. Like I feel like it's real. I know it's not, but she was on. Like, I like doing to suspend my disbelief. Camp. Yeah, yeah. And she like, but the guy was all nervous. I kind of bought it, you know. Um, that's cool though. Yeah, thanks, man. That's sort of your dream when you're a delivery man. You're yes. Like, oh, I'm, some hot girl is gonna want me to fuck her on cam, and then it's like, you know, you get shot in the neck by a 13 year old <laughs> black kid, and, <laughs> and then you just sort of die in <laughs> in the parking lot of Project Housing. <laughs> While trying to earn your four seventy five an hour from Papa John's, and then your family isn't compensated by the pizza company at all because 
They make millions and millions of dollars to hand over to lawyers to prevent them from <laughs> any kind of liability when they... Uh, Shouts out to Papa John saying kneeling during the NFL yeah, yeah. is what caused this shitty fucking company to lose money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, what if he needs to be fired as a CEO? He's crazy. He's Imagine horrible. a fucking like if I were a fucking shareholder and the CEO of the company, after like a, a, an enormous loss, was a eleven percent fucking yeah, drop wild. in the stock price, goes out in public and makes a fucking comment that's regardless of like I, no matter how fucking right you are you have to be able to analyze and say like yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is going to be a divisive statement that, right. that is not good for the company to yeah. say anything other than like yeah you know well we got some th- different things we got to try or like you know right, the market right, right. shifting and it's like deliver i mean everything's del- delivery now through seamless and we've got like a bunch right. of new ways that right. we're trying mm-hmm. to Get people excited about pizza again, and to fucking go out and say, "Oh no, you know what the problem is? The coons not yeah. bowing to the flag, <laughs> the queen flag. That's the problem. Is they he's don't." A, he's a huge drunk, and he's a huge tea party guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, He's the he's the like definition of a loose cannon. Well, 100%. I mean, it's it's the politics aside. That's just such a fucking shitty move for the head of a company. Yeah, oh, totally. I love that drunk ass picture him at a Louisville game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where he's just draped it's over. Just uh, his face. <laughs> is purple like just completely you know weird. Flush. I realized today because both those stories happen at the same time he looks a lot like Manafort oh mm. they look very similar yep you know shouts out to Papadopoulos yeah flipping on the whole squad yeah oh it was Trump just singing like my Greek brother he's gonna bring see he's a he's a rat he's he was not actually bad he's an informant dude Papa Dom. He's been undercover the whole time. I didn't even know he, ex- he existed. Nobody did. He was some like low level. Yeah, he's nothing, right? Yeah. There's some other guy that they're talking about is f- flipping that I'm like, I've never heard that guy's name before. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't need to know their Do you names. think anything's going to happen? Probably not. I Probably mean, that not. like Mueller and Diamond was rushed. We talked about it, but there's like this huge error in it where they name. Uh, some woman is the former president of Ukraine, and she was never president. Damn. It's like in the indictment. My man's got to do a little double check in there, Mueller. Right. Which I don't know how big of an issue that is. Hey, anybody ever did this one? Mueller. Oh, yeah. Mueller. Mueller. Right, guys? Like the... That movie. From, also, they got they got fucking Manafort on like tax evasion. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't. On, this like, isn't Russian collusion. It's no. a rich guy doing the same shit every fucking rich person does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It seems like like if, oh wow, you know he fucking he snuck money into the country to spend uh it's up, almost a million dollars on rugs. That was part of it. <sighs> That's swag. Cool. Yeah, for his swag. fucking house. I give him like, that one. Yeah, whatever. I really don't give a shit. Yo, imagine how fucking luxurious those carpets are, though, dude. First of all, I don't know anyone who isn't a fucking tax cheat. You know? Pe- Every, literally yeah. everybody I fucking... Know, not a cheat, but like... <clears throat> You're always trying to get The out way of, it's yeah. set up is you try and minimize the amount of fucking money that you pay. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird system where everyone's like trying to get over on the government. Mm-hmm. Right. Whereas if we just did a tax on, uh, I don't know, something else... What, doesn't 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 Huckabee... I remember I went to a Huckabee rally as a bit in like the year 2000 or something maybe. And he, he said something about a flat tax or Wait, something. Wait, you went to a, a, a Huckabee rally as a bit 17 years ago? Oh, I'm sorry, not 17 years ago. Uh, when I was in college, whatever year that was. He was at College Park. 2008. When Elders was at College Park. Yeah. And we just kind of went like, because we thought it was funny. And You uh, went to University of Maryland for a check rally? Check this out. Mm-hmm. Ernest is getting too fat to lick his own asshole now. And he struggles. And he gives up. I feel you, brother. I feel you, my fat brother. There was a time in my life I was too fat to comfortably wipe my ass. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I had to. I had to fucking go on like a bathtub and art and like put my leg up Captain Morgan style and get underneath it. <laughs> That's so fat. I know. I was fat as shit. <laughs> I was. That was when I was like three thirty. That's so funny. I hope you get that fat again. No, dude. I'm wishing it upon you. <clears throat> I've been. I've been trending down. Steadily. Look at this. Look at this gross cat. Dude. My yeah, he's dog. Really in his ass. My dog's been eating her pussy all day long today for some reason. I mean, yeah, that makes look sense. Look at Ernest. 
Uh, Nick just kicked the cat. Wouldn't let him, him lick his own. Let asshole, him give himself dude. a rim job. Cats dude. Do. I'm making him do it in the other room. I don't want him fucking <laughs> licking his asshole <laughs> directly. In I don't respect. I don't want to see this uh, disgusting display of auto homosexuality. Would you eat your own ass if you could? Auto homosexuality is what Jay Leno does. <laughs> <laughs> are there women? Fuck your cars. Are there folks. women and men cars? Um. Yeah, if you watch that documentary about people that fuck cars, they do mm. gender the cars. Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, w- they's got that guy in there that fucked Airwolf. He, like, snuck into the museum where they keep Airwolf when he fucked it. What's Airwolf? It was a helicopter from a TV Whoa, show. Whoa, really? <laughs> he fucked the TV helicopter? <laughs> you know who I want to get my Salute. dick sucked by is the magic school bus. Because mm. oh, it has those fat lips. You imagine how good that would feel. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, it, it does have some big ass lips. Yeah, you well, you just you're <clears throat> fingering Miss Frizzle's red ass pussy. I would love to fuck Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle was was hot. Miss Frizzle you got that you got that lizard shoved up weird. your yeah. ass, <laughs> dude. You know? you're making Carlos, Carlos. Rub your back. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos is rubbing your back and fucking making you mojitos and table side guac <laughs> while you nine. Nine fingers deep in Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Damn, I want to fuck. You leave the pinky out because as a stylistic flair. It's as not that choice. you can't take it, but you got to, you know, you hold like a teacup. Mm. That's how you finger Miss Frizzle. Pinky out. That's right, dude. Two hands like royalty. <laughs> yeah. Two hands, both hands. <laughs> right. Both pinky. Prayer out. style and yeah. one out, one pinky out. Getting your fu- putting your nuts on the bumper of the magic school bus. Oh yeah, it's winter, so it's cold. Oh, so it's, they stick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you have to pour a little warm water on them to get yeah, them off. Yeah, yeah, it's got to drool on your nuts, son. Stick your nuts. I like that drill. a lot. I really like that. Oh whoa, damn! If you're out there and you're fucking horny for the magic school bus, <laughs> just go ahead and jack off right at work. <laughs> if anyone comes over and asks you what you're doing, one guy jacked off. Yeah, just show them the show them the podcast you're listening to on your phone. Say I'm jacking off to the magic school bus right now. <laughs> You can't fire me. It's actually an orientation. That's right, bitch. It's called the white version of being on the down low. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you fuck. You want to fuck cartoons? <laughs> what are some other cartoons that could get it? You know, uh, Herbie, the other cartoon car, fully loaded. Yeah, that could get it in terms of car cartoon cars. Uh, Larry the Cable, the Larry the Cable Guy pickup truck and yeah. cars. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Most sure. of the most that of the cast of cars. Ass motherfucker. Could get it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, some cartoon characters are sexy. You yeah. know? Like the brave little toaster. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, who no. doesn't want to just your warm their dick in up in that little electric slot? Mm-mm. Fucking horse got two pussies on his oh, head. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> 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 oh yes <laughs> And no women by the way No, Obviously yeah. Velma and the other one from Scooby Doo yeah. We'd fuck them I'd fuck that lesbian from But Scooby-Doo. that's not We're talking about anthropomorphic I'd like objects to, I'd like to take two hands right mm-hmm. And then well, you one hand You get a real tight grip on Iago from Aladdin <laughs> And then you position him over your dick uh-huh. And then Jack you use the him. other hand to slam him down Oh yes As fast as possible I and love just that Just completely stuff that bird over your With your cock <laughs> <laughs> just makes and a little noise. feather flies, yeah. you know, and he deserves it coming out of his mouth. Oh yeah, yeah, he deserves you, it. You, you, you fucked his entire digestive system <laughs> into his beak cavity. <laughs> 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 that's what. That's how. That's what I call sex, baby. Oh that's yeah, what, that's the robot love. from the Jetsons. Yeah, you know, I feel like she would have some kind of mechanical pussy. Yeah, you think the Jetsons fucked their mate, the robot mates? Probably, right? Yeah, it's their property. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. Mm. Shove yeah, Bam I'll... Bam's bat up my ass. Yeah. <laughs> from Flintstones. <laughs> yeah. Jam that giant fucking bat all the way up my ass. And then Put dri- the short side up and then yeah. turn around real quick and hit someone Put with it. Put my legs up on the dash and drive the car with my dick. <laughs> 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 I just slap my dick against the ground to make the car drive. <laughs> a gay a gay guy from the Flintstones instead of the ribs to eat them, he just gets a big ass brontosaurus dick and puts the whole thing in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, what are some other sexy cartoon characters? Um I mean that we we would really want to fuck. No, the bit is when people say you know, you know, some cartoon characters are hot, like right. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. Right, but right. Then you, so not you, Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, sure, sure. 
You see I thought we were shifting. No, yes. no, no. Okay. You Tommy, the Tommy joke Pickles is you parents. say, yeah, fucking, yeah. <laughs> Some cartoon characters are pretty hot. Yeah. Tommy Pickles is a good one. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa Simpson. Can you imagine just rubbing your dick all over that lumpy ass head of his? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like reading Braille with your dick. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck Reptar, dude. I don't know about you, motherfuckers. That's double cart. That's a cartoon in a cartoon. Yeah. That's double yeah, that's sexy. True. Itchy and scratchy. I want them to itchy my balls and That's scratchy what I call my, my nuts, asshole. dude. I got one I itch, I got one I scratch. <laughs> no, fuck you, Ernest. Ernest is drinking my water. After licking his asshole for God like 30 damn minutes. It. Well, that's his water now. Yeah. I've just been alphaed by Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great when you forget and drink that water, too. <laughs> I won't do it. Yeah, you will. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so anyways, I just watched Jacob's Ladder again halfway <coughs> through the other night. Pretty good. Pretty Never good seen stuff. it. You didn't even see the twist. No, I've se- I've seen the movie a million times. I haven't seen shit, dude. Yeah. I, I got I, movie I'm, pass. I'm, I the saw, next movie I I'll see in theaters is probably going to be the next Star Wars movie. I don't I don't really have any interest in the story, but I heard they're letting people jack off in the theater to the Whoa, girl. Mm-hmm. That's 5D, dude. Yeah. that's They already have 4D, yeah. which is like... You know, they spray shit on you. Mm-hmm. Now you get to spray shit on them. You yeah. beat off. I think the we said that on the last episode. Did we? Right? On 4D? Yeah, 4D and then 5 Yeah, you 5D. just get it rained on. Did we say that? Yeah, something about 4D. Because 4D is time. Right, but 4D movies, you just get misted and it yeah, smells. Yeah, it smells, yeah. yeah, yeah. Someone sprays Lysol or whatever. That's so fucking retarded. It's so dumb. And 5Ds you beat off. It's $30 for each ticket. I mean, that's how fucking much IMAX is. I used to love going to IMAX and science. You ever go to how about, science How center? about something that it's called Guy Max, and it's guys okay. only? You know? <laughs> okay. And what no are you free to allowed. do? What are you free to do in that And theater? we go into the theater, and we just check out just sweet babes. Okay. We're, oh, in, nice. we're in bikinis. So you know what gets me really turned on, fellas? A bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Women's clothes. Oh, yeah. Wearing them. Put them, put put them, them on, on. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you look in the mirror and you say, I could be a sexy lady, too. Mm-hmm. Would mm-hmm. you fuck me? I'd fuck me. Yep. I'd fuck me so hard. Yes. You don't know what pain is. Mm-hmm. And then maybe you coax one of the other fellas to maybe, you know, play that part. Yeah. And maybe he fucks you. Yeah. Maybe they, Why do they he call puts him the bikini Buffalo on. Bill in Silence of the Lambs? Was he from Buffalo? He from they never Buffalo. addressed that. He loved chicken wings, and he was from Buffalo, so it's yeah. a double reason. Was they that it? Him, yeah. Yeah. They called him Wingstop William. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Wingstop. Rick Ross owns it. He Buffalo dressed, Wild Wings is the <coughs> funniest goddamn restaurant. He dressed his daughter as a lemon pepper wing, by the way. I was saying to somebody, Buffalo Wild Wings is like, Imagine if you were too dumb for Dave and Buster's. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no, no games. games. There's no games. Know, there's well, you no can just games. watch if the you games. Were, if you couldn't figure out <laughs> the games of Dave and Buster's. Don't slander B Dub Dubs, dude. That's a quality a, place you to go. Dave and Buster's vibe, but none of yes, the, the same quality of food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> none of like the mental effort it takes to navigate a Dave and Buster's. I will say there has been a shift. The wings are smaller. At at B Dub Dubs, B-dub-dubs. they used to be juicy. Dude, I went to a wing stop one time, and there was this m- really big fat guy behind the counter, mm-hmm. and I was there with my friend Brendan, uh, who's like like one of the funniest people. And uh, the fat guy made the mistake of like enthusiastically telling us what his favorite wings oh, were. Oh no! <laughs> and like I like knowing Brendan well enough, I just sort of watched like the gears turn in his head, knowing that he's like documenting every fucking word and mannerism yeah. that this guy's putting on display, yes. so that he can make fun of it for literally months on end. <laughs> 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 what were his favorites? Uh, uh, you know what? Let's talk shop. Yeah, I don't even remember, but. I do remember laughing hysterically at my friend's <laughs> impression of him. Oh, I'm wing expert here. I used to just eat the garbage outside, but then they gave me a job. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I, want, I love a nice wing. God damn. I, I was at the Arlington Draft House today, and there was a guy that was way too into working at the Arlington Draft That's House. That's always sad when you see some, like, yeah. Sherwin-Williams had a couple Sherwin-Williams, like, lifers. Yeah. Like, people are just like, this is... 
get out, man. He yeah. was just going around. He's the like, worst are GameStop employees. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The people that want to work at GameStop and aren't just like, yeah, I had a kid when I was 16, so. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is my fucking life. <laughs> what is this draft house guy like, Adam? He was just like, um, it, he like chastised like an older black woman he's like uh excuse me they just played yeah. a commercial sir about my not name is chastise <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're gonna chastise me you better understand that that is also my name <laughs> the chastise I'm, violence i'm sorry i did not mean to disrespect you Disrespect is my, my that's yeah, my right. middle name. This is my <laughs> this is this is my son disrespect. <laughs> and my other son churlish. <laughs> uh, churlish. Yeah. Damn it, disrespect. If you don't act good, we gonna turn this car around right near. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this damn car around right near. Do you remember Pork. substitute teachers, like black substitute teachers would always say, like, I'm gonna write you up for insubordination. Yes. That was the big mm-hmm. one. Every single black I, also, what is writing up? Is that just like an administrative referral? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I get it. It doesn't mean anything. Those don't do anything. Yeah. Every administrative referral I got, I you just go to the principal's office and they're like, Yeah, don't do what this Damn, thing I says. just realized that, dude. <laughs> yeah, like, that Holy fuck, it worked on me my whole life. <laughs> really, I mean, the smartest kids were the ones that just realized that in trouble meant nothing. Yeah, of course yeah? not. Like Oh, what, why, why I mean, can't we do that? Oh, we're gonna get kids. in in trouble. They were smart. They the smartest that kids were the ones that like the went whole, to fucking Harvard. Yeah. The shit. whole power structure was built on a complete lie. Yeah, I mean those were those were the kids that were like the Matrix. It's kind of the tr- the truth still, even in the outside world. You think like, oh, if I could go back and if I knew the consequences were just detention or, you know, being suspended or something, I'd do whatever the fuck I want. But the reality is, as like an adult man. You can murder people, you can rob banks, you do whatever the fuck you oh, want. Yeah. The worst that happens is you just go to jail. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then you could get, you know, sexually assaulted mm-hmm. if you're a bitch. Right? Yeah, exactly. Right. But if right. if you learn how to bite a man's penis off, uh-huh. that's real liberty. Mm-hmm. You know? That's real freedom. That's mm-hmm. what George Washington wanted. That's why I had those wooden teeth. When, yeah. Dude. When he chopped down that cherry tree and his Cherry's dad said strongest wood. And yeah. And his dad said, Why the fuck do you do this? He said, I want to suck a man's dick to death in jail <laughs> I'm not scared and, and, you know what? and that's what the fucking athletes are kneeling to yeah. uh-huh. is that's mm-hmm. that's the story mm-hmm. tell it tell you it know? and in honor of that uh Papa John's is offering a pizza a pepperoni pizza where we've we've aligned the pepperonis to look like George Washington sucking a man's <laughs> penis in jail <laughs> To represent the true freedom of Papa John's. <laughs> you know, apparently, we all we see is the old George Washington. Young George Washington was like a sexy guy with red hair, apparently. Apparently, <laughs> old George Washington was sexy, too. The fuck does that even mean? <laughs> no, like, George Washington was, like, super tall for the time. Yeah, everyone was like dude. Everyone was, like, 5'6". G-Dubs was laying pipe, He was, like, 6'2", apparently. Yeah. You think, I, you think he only fucked Martha, or you think he fucked someone else, too? Oh, come on. He was definitely, first of all, fucking... Slaves. His... People that he owned, yeah, humans yeah, yeah. that he owned, mm-hmm. and second of all, yeah, of course I think that's a myth, dude. Lit. I think that's a myth, but you know, no. If you think about it, all black people happened. have founding father names: this is Jefferson or Washington, or that's true. Hancock was just a movie, but I'm sure you could find another black guy named Hancock. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you think the Hancock drunk, the, the superhero? superhero? He can yeah. trace his lineage all the way back yeah, to the guy yeah. from the Constitution <laughs> that yeah, signed yeah. his name big as shit. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, he was real flamboyant. Yeah, that was know? Hancock's other superpowers, good ass signatures. Yeah, that's true. He had yeah. the most wow. flamboyant sig- signature. Sam Adams. A lot of black guys named St. Pauli's girl. <laughs> <laughs> Another founding father. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Uh, DeAndre Milwaukee's best. You guys yeah. ever meet that guy? Uh, He's pretty cool. Who are the other founding fathers? Jefferson, Washington, Benjamin Franklin. Uh, mm-hmm. Maximilian Robespierre. <laughs> yep. John Hancock. King George. Yeah. He was one of them. Come on, Adam. This is your wheelhouse. Uh, the Founding Fathers. Bob Evans. Uh, James Madison. Mm-hmm. Um, Wrong. Pat Buchanan. Incorrect. Uh, John Quincy Adams. Yeah. The McLaughlin Group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one, the Koch Brothers' dad. Issue one. Um, Tonight on the group. 
Jamie Kilstein's uh, rebranding as an alt-right guy, good or bad? <laughs> Tony Blankley, what do you have to say? I think it's good. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. <laughs> I think it's good and my dick's small. <laughs> it's me, Tony Blankley, all the way from Britain. Tiny Britain. <laughs> Tiny Blankley. <laughs> Tiny Blankley. Take that, bitch. <laughs> Some fucking old news guy who I don't know at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love being stupid, man. Yeah. I'm just going to keep getting dumber every year until I die, I think. I want them to bring back the McLaughlin group and let Sinbad host it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be a great show. Ooh. Ooh. What's he up to these days? Who? Sinbad. Sinbad? Oh. I don't know. Getting an earring removed by a doctor because <laughs> it fused with his lobe. <laughs> Complaining he's around. about how it's not the 70s anymore. I feel like he's getting What like, was his act about? I don't even think I watched it. It's literally all about the 70s, how things aren't like the 70s anymore. Really? Is that what his act was? But also, really good comic. Yeah, he used to... I haven't seen any... No, he's legitimately... Watch his stand-up. It's a million fucking times better than everything now. I had to watch uh, somebody's Fallon appearance the other day. Why? It's like... I don't want to go into it, but it's uh, just like... I have... Just stand-up isn't good anymore. You know, mm-hmm. it's just not good. And I think like, is it because I'm jaded? Because I've like, you know, watched a lot of stand up and I can go back and watch old shit and it's great. I think partially it is. I mean, I partially you're probably just like a little overloaded by, you know, just seeing stand up now. But I mean, I'm with you. The, the vast majority of stuff you see is kind of fucking. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like there's way more stand up and there's no. uh well, that's certainly something I've complained about. So I guess since we redid, we're done. We're done on time. But uh, right. uh, we should recap a couple of things that got uh, lost in the episode that was deleted. Uh, Jamie Kilstein is back. He is now an alt right guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was in. I was wrong. He he really didn't do anything. I thought I, when I watched the Rogan thing, I thought he said he beat a woman, but that was just a joke that didn't mm. land or whatever. What did he say? Uh, he was telling some other anecdote about an African guy that. Oh, first of all, he was making fun of African guy voice, which. Whoa. Stay in your lane, motherfucker. Whoa. Oh, no. Let's get fucked. the fucking bats out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull up on Kilstein. No. Nah. He definitely doesn't pay for the Patreon, you know? He's yeah. definitely How legally tall? down. We could beat up Jamie Kilstein, right? Of course. Of course. What he's is he got like, like spaghetti tattoo on, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a little guy weigh like 115 pounds. Let's go fuck him up, dude. Yeah. For taking African guy voice. Um Yeah, so uh I guess there was that. We talked about that. The I think I got angry, and then we ended up not really saying anything about the issue at all. Terrorist attack, we had a couple of good riffs on that. I think number one thing I pointed out was uh-huh. that it was he was stopped. The truck was stopped by a short bus. Yeah, so that's true. Hats off to the driver for making the snap decision to put retarded kids in the line of fire yep. to mm-hmm. save normals. And every single one of those kids also a hero, Yeah, technically. Mm-hmm. They're all wearing helmets, I think. You know, but really... Only group of people that hasn't done a mass shooting. That's true. It's true. They're mentally disabled. Yeah. And their proximity to the mentally ill, you know, they get a bad rap. Mm-hmm. But totally peaceful. Yeah. In comparison. Well, and bad rap, uh, Limp Biscuit. we tied it all together. That's how you close a show. Beautifully Thanks, done. guys. 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 Beautifully.